Welcome to Homeschool. Today, we've got kind of a quick overview video for you. We're gonna educate you on how to search for a home, the realtor selection process, and something called seller concessions. Let's start with home search. Actually, no, before home search. Can we all agree that you're going to want to start with a budget? Falling in love with a home you may not qualify for can be really discouraging. Find out what you can afford by going back quickly and watching the pre-approval versus pre-qualification video and get yourself started on the pre-approval process. Okay, now that that's done, let's talk home search. First, you want to consider the location of your new home. This is an easy step to forget, but it can be important. When you're thinking about the location, you want to consider things like how close your new home would be to your work, where your kid's school is, and maybe just general things you'd like to do. Another thing to think about is, what are your non-negotiables? Also, what are things that would be nice, but aren't necessarily a deal breaker? This could be stuff like number of bedrooms, backyards and patio options, garage size, even the layout of the kitchen. The next step is finding and selecting a realtor to help you get that dream home. There are a few things that are really important when it comes to working with a realtor. The first is experience. A realtor that has good knowledge of the local market will be able to guide you in ways other realtors may not be equipped for. Another thing you wanna check is their credentials. Make sure they are fully licensed. And it also might not be a bad idea to check their online reviews and get a feel for their overall vibe. Speaking of vibes, make sure that you and your realtor, well, Vibe. This is someone that you'll be working closely with on what may be the biggest purchase of your life. Working with someone that really gets you and has great communication can make all the difference in the world. What you're looking for is transparency. You want a realtor that is going to be straightforward with you at all times. So we've talked about preparing for your home search. We've talked about selecting a realtor, but what are these things called seller concessions? I'll save you the Google search. Seller concessions are credits given from the seller to a buyer during a real estate transaction. A seller concession might be negotiated into a deal instead of a sales price reduction. Seller concessions can be used to cover expenses and different kinds of fees. This could be things like title insurance, property taxes, and even mortgage points to buy down an interest rate for you. Whether or not you should ask for seller concessions depends on your situation and the market conditions you're facing. For example, in a seller's market, where a seller might have a house with a lot of potential buyers and buyer demand is high, a seller likely won't agree to lower their sales price or offer a seller concession. But if there are more sellers than buyers, the opposite would be true. The bottom line is this, a great real estate professional is going to help you understand the nuances of the market you are facing. And they're going to help you negotiate the best possible deal for you. And that's it. Now you're more equipped and ready to jump into this market. And just remember, we're here anytime you need us. Class dismissed.